Hello Hex developers, this is Ice Free Boyan, and I would like to show you how to develop a custom action for IntelliJ IDEA Hex plugin. So let me show you real quick how it works in uh, Java. So basically as you can see I'm typing boolean b uh, equals true. Uh, just to show you action I've been working on for Hex. So basically this is split into declaration and assignment action which does um, this as you can see uh, declaration split into uh, separate statement and uh, assignment is a separate statement so declaration statement and the uh, assignment statement uh, getting separated so this is how it works uh, if you have installed PCI viewer uh, you can see uh, code structure abstract syntax free uh, so you can see how different parts of code are getting parsed through uh, parser plugin xml is a plugin descriptor file hex plugin this is basically um, contains uh, some some like um, pointers to the implementation classes and uh, here you can uh, some assign some logic connect logic and uh, to different functionality and uh, provide your own implementation for different functionality uh, for example we are going to be implemented uh, implementing action and uh, I already did implemented action, uh, different action. This is basically action to replace uh, wildcard wild card imports with a single class uh, imports. So I would like to show you how it works. As you can see, here is an action, but uh, it uh, gets removed everything because um, it seems like uh, nothing is used and uh, NME display stage is already imported for some reason so it takes time to parse and update but let me show you how this works with uh, sprite uh, to show you some more real example uh, so uh, changing NME display to wildcard uh, but we use uh, here only a sprite NME display sprite so alt enter to see available actions and uh, as you can see it gets replaced to an e display sprite so basically i think this uh, can uh, help maybe speed up compiler uh, to speed up uh, compilation maybe mm, perhaps a bit so let's um, create our um, action split into assignment and a declaration for hex you have seen that is already implemented for java jetbrains did a great job but uh, it also they also did a great job on a plugin ipi so we can uh, easily extend uh, and implement and provide implementation for hex 2 uh, we can just uh, use uh, Java implementation for Hex because you know Java and Hex are a little bit different code structure, code uh, syntax. So, uh, but uh, JetBrains uh, did provide it an uh, API to extend and uh, create some extensions. Uh, as you can see, I added an intention action just uh, the same way as I did with previous section uh, so you can see I created the name for this class and uh, I navigated to the intention package and a new uh, Java class and uh, copy this name here so and uh, uh, to implement action uh, we have uh, this class should implement uh, intention action so it uh, will work just fine and uh, we use alt enter to uh, generate 
implemented method implementations and basically I uh, look into previously implemented action uh, because uh, this is really a similar methods for it so you can see get text is a method to provide a, a text uh, which you see in um, when you hit uh, alt enter so you see this uh, text split into declaration and uh, assignment I also sometimes look into uh, Java implementations uh, for similar functionality and uh, if it's uh, possible sometimes I try to uh, use a similar logic because uh, JetBrains did some uh, some uh, great uh, really things but uh, sometimes it's really complicated as you know when projects get really smart it's um, hard to avoid uh, complexity uh, so here I'm looking for uh, naming uh, for uh, this get text this is not really necessary but i just would like to look uh, where naming of this uh, action is uh, located for uh, java to make sure it's uh, the same basically it's not a big deal i'm looking for references and basically it should return something like uh, properties hex plugin uh, has uh, such bundles too with uh, properties and naming but um, for now we will uh, stick with uh, just text to make uh, things uh, simpler to understand and to implement so as you can see it contains uh, uh, descriptions for uh, different actions uh, text but uh, I was not able to find the uh, exact uh, text I was looking for uh, never mind this is not really important so uh, as you can see how it looks for Java split into declaration and assignment so okay let's uh, stick with just a type of text I don't want to waste your time too much so uh, get family name get family name is a kind of internal uh, descriptor I guess which basically um, tells uh, some marks some this action with uh, this text and there is different functionality mm, so let's start uh, start in write action method we have to set this to true because this method is uh, will going to be change code structure uh, will uh, some access some pci uh, data get and uh, generate some uh, var declaration newly and uh, statement uh, so this is going to be right action so is available is really very important uh, method because um, this is boolean mm, function which is basically if it's true then uh, this action is going to be shown everywhere so we have to provide a criteria on which we should uh, uh, you know show it uh, or not uh, so as you can see uh, I'm using PCI viewer to highlight basically var declaration components so as you can see a local var declaration is a full uh, statement over this variable declaration and the var uh, declaration part is uh, 
uh, statement of var up. This is done, I think, because um, you know hex actually supports. Um, you can type var a uh, comma b comma c comma and uh, then uh, provide some type. So uh, I think this is a uh, rarely used, but you know it's kind of must have functionality for. Uh, so hex supports it with a single var you can type multiple declaration at one time so what i'm doing over here i need to uh, figure out if um, if uh, this action can be applied to a statement at a caret so basically i'm trying to get uh, local var declaration which is a parent uh, root element of uh, statement so i'm trying to do this and if it's not null uh, then then this means that uh, some text under the caret element which is a pci element is uh, a child of uh, var declaration so we need to get uh, var declaration and get uh, var declaration part uh, list and get a uh, first element from here as i said earlier hex supports multiple uh, declarations uh, with a single statement a single line perhaps so uh, for this case, we would, I would like to show you how to implement for simple case, a really the most common case perhaps. And uh, if size is equals to 1, uh, then this action, then function available is going to return true. But that's not all. Uh, just look uh, into implementation just to make sure this function uh, not returns null and etc yeah it's marked as a not null annotated and uh, no it uh, should return empty collection when nothing is uh, there but it should have actually at least one of these so we get the first element because we checked that uh, size is equals to one and we get local var declaration which contains basically all the data all the data except uh, var keyword var keyword so var declaration part get component name should return name of the variable so basically this uh, should return a just a because uh, our variable is named a get property declaration i think this um, should be null because uh, for now for now to make things simpler i would like um, to for now we are not going to implement this for getter and a setter uh, for now at least maybe in the future but not now uh, so to make things simpler and focus on uh, more simpler tasks uh, i will just uh, check if it's uh, null it uh, should be null so it's uh, not property and uh, it's annotated as no label so, so it uh, can be null and we can uh, check it this way it's not necessary to look into implementations but it's sometimes handy to make sure everything works and uh, learn how it works uh, inside uh, IntelliJ IDEA itself some IPIs uh, implementations and other things so get property declaration is null and var init which is a basically uh, part of assignment assignment uh, so it contains an uh, sign uh, equal sign and uh, part of a uh, uh, statement which we uh, assign to so in uh, this case uh, this equals equal sign 
and uh, array literal which basically is uh, two square brackets as you can see on uh, uh, this this is uh, I remove it and uh, var init element so you can see uh, it's not shown so in this case um, it will be null PCI element will return null uh, component name is a uh, type tag uh, you can see so basically it's array int so we checked that uh, var init is not null and it's not a getter setter statement because for getter setter uh, we would have to provide uh, different implementations and uh, we'll need to uh, investigate if it's uh, appropriate there at all because uh, you know it's usually methods already separated and the uh, values uh, some etc so it does not make much sense i think so if you think uh, differently uh, let me know in the comments or uh, in Twitter at is free boyan or something. Uh, so basically, what I did over here uh, is available now returns true if it meets all requirements. So it's not shown for this because it does not contain var init part and uh, assignment. So let's uh, do this. This is more complex, more complex case. And uh, you can see it shows this action when it has a var init part uh, assignment statement. So if I hit if I hit uh, this action, uh, nothing happens because invoke function does nothing. Uh, so we will have to implement this uh, right now. So basically, it uh, works properly now. It is available function is really critical so as you have seen uh, it should uh, show action only if it's appropriate because you know we don't want to show this action on some uh, import well kind of import for example this is gonna be weird and uh, it will not work it will just uh, do nothing and uh, perhaps it even can crash just throw error so uh, this is why the implemented is available which is a great way to do this i think this is very cool so invoke function basically this is a function which uh, is uh, gets running when we uh, hit alt enter and uh, hit uh, select and uh, select this action when we so double click or uh, hit enter on the action uh, this uh, function gets executed action itself gets invoked or uh, executed if you want so uh, from here we need to uh, get information about current local var declaration and uh, generate uh, some reference uh, uh, perhaps uh, just a statement and a uh, new var uh, declaration to split this uh, entire uh, statement uh, of local var declaration so we need to uh, generate two different things mm, for example we will need to replace our statement entire with uh, this and uh, move uh, and move uh, variable declaration on a line above this so we can use hex element generator which is basically an utility class to do this but first of all we will need to get information uh, about uh, variable name variable type uh, so we can generate these pci elements so we get uh, we do the same thing uh, as we do in uh, is available function we get local var declaration and uh, we don't need to check if it's null and if it contains uh, 
any elements in its uh, work declaration part list because we already do this in uh, is available function I think so uh, at least to me it works just fine so get var declaration uh, get name So I'm looking into some properties in the PCI viewer. So you can see name of this uh, local var declaration is uh, totally not what I'm looking for. We are looking for local var declaration part name, element name. Local var declaration, uh, get component name. And uh, get text. Get in, get in the file, get text, or uh, perhaps uh, just get text. Or simply just get name, perhaps that. Uh, Talk name. So, Control B to navigate. Or Control Alt B to navigate to the um, implementation. As you can see, it already does uh, gets identifier and gets text, so it's already implemented. So we have name, and we need to generate a variable declaration using a hex element generator helper class. Which does um, uh, creates some uh, file in a sandbox which contains uh, some class and uh, extracts from there. So as you can see how uh, how it's done, var white space uh, plus name. This should be var plus name. Name is in this case um, is a. So what we need next? We need to get uh, the type of this variable. And we need to get um, Yeah, we need to get type of this variable, type tag uh, get text. But first of all, let me I just refactor this code a bit because uh, type tag can be null can be null and I don't wanna get a text of a null element uh, so so let's do it this way I just uh, hit control alt v to extract a variable this is already implemented in the hex plugin. So if you guys want to use it, I would suggest to use it. To try it out if you haven't. So if it's not null, then we get text. So as you can see type tag text is already contains a colon and uh, contains array so basically this is um, some uh, type uh, something like abstract type which contains um, implementations for uh, different cases so uh, we need to just get text uh, and etc so we almost did uh, created a var declaration uh, but we need to add it to the code because this is just an uh, element uh, generated somewhere and uh, let's create a statement which contains uh, var init code and the remaining part and uh, contains uh, also a variable name so we can reference it and uh, generate required 
code. So let's assign the same thing. Basically, name of the variable is a uh, equals to var init statement. But I think um, equal sign uh, should is not required for this. Mm. Let's look when we run it. So I uh, was able to generate var declaration which basically contains uh, type and uh, should end with column and uh, on the next line uh, there, there should be assignment declaration itself so I hope that's clear so get uh, component part var init we get the var init and uh, we just would like to get some text from uh, this element this implementation uh, will only work if uh, code is properly parsed uh, i think because you know it creates a var declaration and a statement from text Basically, it parses the code and returns element. So, parser is not able to get this data. This might not work. But usually, for most cases, I think parser is quite uh, good to understand uh, simple statements like this, variable declarations. I think it's pretty good. For most cases so we need to generate statement from text which is basically I already did uh, so yeah it's pretty much the same we need to add the we need to element to add our elements to code So to do this I use local var declaration get parent and before local var declarations. Uh, I need to switch places. So I would like to add a var declaration newly generated one uh, without assignment. That should do the job. And uh, I would like to replace local var declaration with a statement from text, which is basically, um, I think, exactly what we're looking for, which contains reference to our variable and uh, assignment part, assignment text. So let's try this action, how it works. Split into that declaration and it does not work uh, for some reason because uh, I think I did uh, got a wrong name, no such element uh, in exception. So, as you can see, it uh, This happens when a uh, hex element generator, uh, which does uh, parses code, uses parsing functionality, cannot parse, cannot extract data you are looking for. So basically, it will uh, silently fail if, if code is not valid. So, but as you can, as you can see, I set up um, a breakpoint, and uh, you can see variable name is empty. So that's definitely the issue. So, to fix this, um, we need, oh, I did a mistake, I'm sorry guys, uh, this is a not, this is a wrong element, I get name on a wrong element, so let's uh, exit from debug. 
and as you can see in PCI viewer uh, I should use um, local var declaration part and get component name from it and not from local var declaration because local var declaration contains um, um, var keyword and uh, a list of variables these types so to get the name of course we will need to access this uh, part local var declaration part so as you can see it pretty works pretty close except uh, it adds um, additional equal sign which is not necessary and uh, it does not add a semicolon because uh, this is a statement and the statement itself uh, is not uh, required to get um, not required to have a semi semicolon in the end because it's just statement it can be used almost anywhere uh, and then it's not necessary it's not the part so let's try again split so it's uh, a little bit better except it's uh, all placed in one single line so it shows me that uh, it can be null but uh, i think i already did uh, check for it in uh, is available function uh, so if it's null it uh, shouldn't invoke this action so i think for now it should um, work pretty fine so we might need to create a semicolon element somehow or uh, add some token or text uh, to node what i'm doing over here i'm i skipped some part of the video um, to just some cut some um, my searches for ways to do this so basically um, i think adding uh, a um, leaf to the node basically abstract syntax free so basically this is much more low level than uh, using uh, pci elements i think this is more like uh, on uh, lexer level uh, we just we just need to um, generate um, or edit somehow to our element so we can inject uh, entire statement with a semicolon and uh, be happy with the results uh, so i need to inject uh, edit the um token semicolon and at least seems to be exactly what i'm looking for because i can specify a leaf type which is a hex uh, token uh, types yep uh, and a semicolon this is the type of the uh, leaf so as you can see text is semicolon and it should do the job uh, pretty fine so i was a bit experimenting with uh, different approaches but it's turned out that Mm. just adding a leaf is uh, perhaps the best way to do this i think 
at least the best way I was able to find. So, as you can see, it works pretty well. So you see, um, but, you know, without a new line, it looks kind of stupid, because what is the sense of this action if we have to add a new line? And uh, basically it's the same statement. And um, so, I uh, don't want to add new line myself every time I do this. So, we have a code formatter. We have a code formatter to do this. Which basically can uh, add new line and etc. But I do not want to uh, reformat entire code. For these uh, statements, I would like to add it manually. But perhaps as uh, alternative implementation, it uh, can be reformatted uh, something like uh, two statements uh, var declaration and uh, assignment statement can be done oh, this is my uh, silly attempt uh, to get semicolon element but this is really not used and this is not pretty stupid so we successfully added a um, semicolon to this statement but uh, now we need um, a new line new line in java is a uh, as a slash and as in hex as in most languages so let's try it on this one and still nothing but as you can see it creates new line in the end of the uh, statement mm, uh, here i did uh, wrong a little bit because um, this is not the right place to do this mm, so var init by the way uh, doesn't have uh, no it might have semicolon i think it might have so i added a semicolon and uh, added uh, a n element but i think that um, var init may already contain semicolon statement so I would like to look into history and revert some changes it's kinda handy sometimes if you modify it your code and would like to revert re real quick so let's try it again split yep Yep, it does the job pretty well, except um, uh, additional semicolon is added, which is not necessary. Yeah, this uh, uh, variable declaration contains a semicolon in its declaration. Yep, and uh, var init does not, I think. Yeah, I think var init does not, but um, so we need to add the white space token is uh, not. Uh, so let's leave it that way. I hope that works well. So we are pretty close to the implementation. 
Okay, I'm ready. Except uh, one final step is uh, to yep, it works just fine. Uh, except I would like to indent this line properly. So I would like to do a reformat action, run a reformat action on uh, this. Uh, a statement only on uh, a equals uh, literal uh, array literal so to do this I need to find a way to execute or invoke some action to reformat code it seems like I'm looking in the, in the wrong place perhaps but uh, there might be some usage cases where it get used but I think I think I should look into code uh, style Called uh, style manager, which uh, contains all the functionality on uh, to reformat a selection and reformat a text range. So get reformat action, create test file. No, I don't think I'm looking into right place but does plugin have tests for it uh, it seems like it doesn't have mm, tests related to the reformator functionality which is perhaps not cool but maybe we will add some later So application manager, get application, run right action. Usually we use uh, this to run action, some action programmatically uh, this wrapper to you know to make sure uh, right action is allowed uh, there. And uh, place it in a quenu and um, etc. So I don't think uh, that there is a test case which could help me to to run a refactor. Uh, sorry, reformator. Uh, programmatically reformat reaction dynamically sometimes I look into some complex Some complex things, but at the end it turn out, turns out that um, it's pretty easy usually to do something. It just uh, takes some time to learn some how to use this uh, API and etc. I think uh, the um, complete statement uh, fixer, semicolon fixer should uh, kind of use uh, the reformator functionality because um, when it uh, adds some columns and uh, does some other things sometimes uh, it needs to use a reformator so it has to be used somewhere here smart enter mm, so this is a handler when you uh, control when you press 
Ctrl Shift Enter Complete Statement, which is does works pretty well in Java, but for Hex uh, it's uh, implemented, but uh, it's not really uh, implemented for each case, you know, because uh, Hex is a uh, such language that requires a uh, lots of cases and it can became pretty complex. Uh, so I think this is not really necessary because we already write action, so sorry for this stupid uh, thing. So I think I found uh, just what I'm looking for. Mm, yep, this uh, we need to get text range of this element, but not the mm, local var declaration. We need to reindent a statement from text, which is basically contains variable assignment uh, statement. So this should do the job pretty well. File we already get this file, I think project we already have project as a function parameter so file I think it's already defined and we don't need it I find development process pretty exciting I hope that it's not completely boring for you. I hope that uh, may be useful to some developers maybe who would like to extend functionality. You know we are open to new suggestions and uh, implementations, actions, uh, everything, bug reports. Uh, basically you can report them at uh, github uh, slash tvo uh, slash IntelliJ uh, dot uh, IntelliJ hex IntelliJ hex. So you can uh, report bugs there, and we uh, you look into this, and uh, we try to fix them as uh, as soon as we can. So as you can see, it works pretty well. What I did is um, I uh, get uh, the range of the whole file, of the entire file, but it's not uh, uh, the great uh, thing, because uh, it is not cool. Because, you know, uh, you don't want uh, to reformat the entire file when you apply some action to some uh, particular element. So, I would like to get, perhaps if I get a replaced element, which is basically the same, perhaps should be a statement from text, except some semicolon perhaps, it should do the job uh, as expected. So base file perhaps perhaps should work fine. I will look again into the implementation in uh, some IntelliJ. So they use it like this. The function is protected, so I can just use it, but it's not really a big deal. For now, it uh, should do the job uh, this way. So, yeah, I uh, will reference uh, replace it element. This is a variable declaration. And uh, I think I'm pretty close to to complete implementation so as you can see when I use a reformat functionality on selected text it does the job uh, well so I think this should do the job pretty well 
so I leave it with replace and uh, uh, recompile it and before seems like the returns too but we don't need a PCI element from there so I uh, tested as you can see uh, as you saw how it uh, works how it should work select uh, this and uh, format but we want to be done this with selection so IDE can do this for us so we don't need the, to do this reformatter because you know otherwise it will be a pain um, for developer we don't want to do this we want to avoid the pain so I would like to revert some file so let's try again as you can see it works just perfectly just perfectly let's try on this one more complex example and I surprised but it looks just great but if you look into the logic then you might understand why it does works uh, just fine because it just contains uh, text it just gets text so as you can see it works pretty well it's splitting variable declarations and I'm happy that I did implement it with you guys so as a IntelliJ idea hex plugin maintainer last step uh, I would have to do is to commit uh, this implementation action uh, implementation or intention intention action is a more exact perhaps so hex element generator is uh, does not change hex leap item is I was using just only to show you how it works for java and uh, this one should do the job pretty fine so I push then I might need to rebuild uh, the jar so you guys can use it and also we would have to fix some critical parts and uh, perhaps implement support for IntelliJ IDEA 14 uh, so everybody can use uh, the latest IntelliJ IDEA this uh, hex just fine 